Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a ruffle hat. I've been seeing these hats all over the place. They are absolutely gorgeous. All these different colors and styles. So we're going to make this hat. I'm going to start off with a magic circle. You do not have to do a magic circle if you do not know how to do that just yet. You can just do a standard chain. But on this one I'm going to go ahead and do my magic circle so we're going to make 10 half double crochets into this circle here your magic circle is fairly easy to make but again it is unnecessary if you don't know how to make it just then you can learn how to make that do that at another time so as I go along, I'm going to pull on the string to draw the stitches closer together to get my circle. And I'm going to continue making my 10 half double crochets. Okay, so we're at the end of the row and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch and chain one. Now we're going to into that same stitch that you slip stitch. You're going to put two half double crochets and we're going to do that for each stitch going around. When you get to the end, you should have 20 half double crochets around. Okay, so we're at the end of the second row. Actually, I've made a booboo here. I need to go back and add two half double crochets to this stitch here so I'm going to do that real quick at this point we are increasing each row we're going to increase for a few rows as you're going on as you're increasing you want to go ahead and measure your head and make sure that it's fitting the crown of your head um, and then we just continue from there this pattern is pretty much a beanie pattern um, you just want you're just adding ruffles to that so now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch and chain one now we're moving on into row three now for row three you want to go into that first stitch with one half double crochet we are still increasing in your next stitch you're going to put two half double crochets this is another increase with your stitches so you're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch you will do two half double crochets so that's one double crochet in one stitch and two half double crochets in the second stitch we're at the end of that row that was row three i just have one more half double crochet to put here and only one half double crochet goes here so that will give us 30 half double crochets go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one so now we're going into row four and we're still increasing we're going to go into that first stitch which is the stitch that you slip stitched into we're going to put a half double crochet in there we're going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochets into that third stitch. You're going to do this all the way around. One half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochets all the way around. When you get to the end, you should have 40 half double crochets. Okay, so we have... 40 half double crochets going around and we're going to move into round five so go ahead and slip stitch and chain one at this point we are still increasing we're going to go ahead and add one half double crochet to this first stitch one half double crochet to the next another half double crochet to the next stitch and two half double crochets in your fourth stitch this will be your pattern going all the way around one half double crochet one half double crochet one half double crochet and two half double crochets all the way around 
So we're now at the end and we have our 50 half double crochets going around. So let's go ahead and slip stitch and chain one. So now we're no longer going to increase as this is wide enough to fit the crown of my head. Now we're just simply going to go around with half double crochets, one half double crochet into each row. I also want you to remember that <clears throat> when you're making this hat, again, as you're increasing, you want to measure as you go along, as your circle gets bigger, you want to continue measuring to make sure that it fits your head. When we're doing these single crochets, I mean, these half double crochets going around one in each stitch, which is building our hat now we're building the um, cap part that comes down towards our ears and however long you want that to be that's how you will do yours i ended up doing 13 rows so that it fits all the way down to touch the uh, middle of my ears so i'm going to continue making these half double crochets going around and i will meet you back at the beginning at the <clears throat> beginning of the row okay so we're now back at the beginning of the row I'm gonna put in these last two half double crochets here remember this is only 50 half double crochets going around we are not increasing anymore so um, this is just gonna get wider and wider it'll still remain at 50 half double crochets you do as many rows as you need to for as far down as you want for this cap to go it's more like a beanie um, a pattern um, with just ruffles added to it so we're gonna go ahead and continue on I did a chain one I mean I did a slip stitch and a chain one so now I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to make half double crochets going all the way around all right so now I'm at the end of this last row and I'm gonna stop it here I'm not gonna make it as big as I would for my head because I want to get to the ruffle part which is the 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 most fun part of this project i'm going to go ahead and go here and i'm going to slip stitch in a moment and chain one and we're going to begin our ruffles again i didn't go further because i just this is a tutorial so i just want to show you how to do these ruffles real quick and hopefully you got the gist of how to make this cute hat so i went ahead and i um slip stitch and i chain one and so now we're going to go into that same stitch with some half double crochets and we're going to do this all the way around for each stitch so in the first stitch the same stitch that you slip stitch in you're going to put five half double crochets and you're going to do that for each of your stitches so five half double crochets in this first stitch in your next stitch another five half double crochets and as you're doing it you will begin to see your ruffles begin to form each of these stitches and I will meet you when we're back at the beginning well the end of the row those are beginning to form on here we're gonna put our last five half double crochets into this last stitch here and then we're going to slip stitch and chain one into the first stitch of the row so I decided on a different color for this to have two different colors. I recently bought some blue and green yarn. And so I'm going to go ahead and switch my colors out. And I'm going to make my second row of these ruffles this green color. I think it's either forest green or I think it's forest green. So I'm going to go ahead and use that color to go ahead and do my second row with it. So let's go ahead and add this green onto here. You can use whatever colors um, it is that you want. You can make it one color. Um, you can switch the colors back and forth throughout the hat if you want to. It's very versatile in how you can how you make the hat look. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slip stitch into this next stitch up here. That very first stitch from the five that I made in the previous row. We're gonna do that and we're gonna chain one and in that very same stitch and all the way around, we're gonna put four half double crochets in each of those. So in this first one, we'll do four half double crochets if I can get this yarn to act right. And this is the last one here.
and then we move into the next stitch with four more half double crochets and do this all the way around and again you will continue to see how those ruffles are made in the beginning to form and this is when you begin to get creative you can switch out the colors as i said before you can make the ruffles as long as you want to because right now you're just making us an extension of what's there you're building on top of what's already there so you can switch up your colors and it'll come out so pretty and continue with this if you want to make another row you would do a row of three half double crochets in each of those again it's all up to you how much you want your pattern to go how much you want your ruffles to ruffle so to speak and you just do that all the way around to your satisfaction and when we come back i will have a picture of the hat the hat will be completely finished and i will have a picture of me wearing the hat <laughs> And now we are all finished. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue. I love the green in the middle. I have 13 rows of my half double crochet for the crown. And nothing but a bunch of lovely ruffles all over the place. So I used half double crochet, not half double crochet, sorry, double crochets to finish my ruffles off. And as I said, you can make as many rows as you want. And this is going to be the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching.